Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Battle for Azeroth expansion, where we are going to be breaking out of the mother load. It is the goblin themed expansion on the island of Kassan. And uh, before we begin, this full credit of this breakout goes fully to Maiden. So thank you, Maiden, for the breakout and showing us graciously how to do this glitch. Now, the glitch is very simple. It doesn't require too much. Um, all you got to do is make your way along the sand over here. Now, before we perform this glitch, I just want to give a shout out to Maiden for, you know, finding this glitch and just saying thank you so much. Um, it's amazing that the OOB community is showing me so many different stuff to do and to break out and to uh, show everybody else on the YouTube channel. So I just want to say thank you. If you have not joined the ATN Discord, I will put a link in the comment section below. It's also on my All Things Nerd profile, so go check it out. We highly recommend you to join. There's over 100 members now. The ATN Discord is growing every day. It's very, very active. The feeds are active, the music, the memes. It's just a lot of fun in there, so I highly recommend you to join. Also, if you have not, I am officially affiliated with GamingHero.io. GamingHero.io is a great website if you're looking to farm a lot of gold in World of Warcraft. It is not a selling gold website, so don't think you're clicking on a scammy link here. If you do decide to sign up with them, please use my link. There is an affiliate. It will get you a 10% discount code using AT Nathan at sign up. And uh, yeah. It's really awesome. They do gold guides. They also do toy guides. They also do mount guides. So check it out. Now, let's get back to the video. Today, we are in the mother load like I had talked already. We are going to be breaking out of bounds. And we're going to head over here on the beach. Now, when we head over here, we're going to hit a wall. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to place our first pillow here. There is a few walls we're actually going to hit. Um, like I said, there's a few walls we're going to hit. So we're going to, have to place another wall or another pillow here. And, um, we're going to head out this way. Now we're going to hit another wall, unfortunately. So what we're going to need to do actually is I think we can fly out this way. Let's check it out here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we're going to come over here. And we're going to come up here. Now, we can go a couple of ways here. And uh, there are a few ways that we can go. Um, hold on one sec. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> we I was responding back to Maiden and... Uh, True hero. They were trying to get me. They have this game going where if I'm in the middle of a video, they try to see if, if I'm at the end and they're asking me to say like and subscribe. <laughs> so like and subscribe to the video, but we're not there yet to the end, people. We're almost there. All right, let's continue here. Um, now, what's cool is you can just fly straight over here and you are officially out of the map. So we can just fly over here. And you do need to go up there, or you will get stuck in a lot of walls back there, so just be careful. Now, something very strange about this area is there is a very particular glitch that happens in this map. I'm not going to spoil it, um, but a very weird thing happens, and uh, we're going to go check it out. But let's go explore the island a little bit. As you can tell, we are out of the map all the way down here, so we're already out. And let's go check out this cool map. Now, we are on the island of Kassan, or Kassan, uh, where the goblin starting zone is, next to the Lost Isles. So let's go head out this way, and let's go see what we can find. But full credit to Maiden. Maiden, thank you again for this awesome video. You're the best. I uh, just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart here. That uh, you guys are just amazing with finding OOB stuff. From the ATN Discord, and you guys are always gracious enough to share it with me. So, thank you so much. All right, let's go head out this way. 
And let's go take a look at a few things. Now, we're going to come over to this building. Now, there's a very particular thing that happens when you enter this building. I'm going to save that for the last, all right? That's going to be the surprise of the video. So before we go in this building, before we head into here, we're going to go around the island first, and we're going to go check out the surrounding area. And I want to show you guys the out-of-bounds part, and then we'll come back to this at the very end. So let's go take a look here. Now, I hope you guys like the camera placement a lot better. I did shrink it and uh, put myself in the very far left corner so you guys can have more view of the uh, the gameplay. I did have a couple of people comment that, so I was making sure to fix that for future videos. Now, as you can see, this is not a active volcano, <laughs> sadly. Uh, there is particle effects and stuff to make it look like it is an active volcano. This is one of the smaller OOBs in the game, just because there's not too much going on out here. I love the flowers going up the tree. So this is a pretty OOB. There is some cool stuff going on, and you can climb a lot of these trees, which is really cool. And we did kind of find the edge of the world here. You can kind of see the outer bounds of the map is already ending with the gray textured going on out there. Now what's really strange, Hero actually found out, that if you break out of bounds here, you can actually run in the water. Like, there is no swimming animation. So, that was really strange to see. As you can tell, we're coming to the edge of the world here, so we're probably going to hit a wall here in a minute. Oh, there we go. We found the edge of the world. So there you can, there you go. You can see underneath the map, there isn't too much going on. But let's go head up to the volcano. And then let's circle back around. And I want to show you guys exactly that secret place I'm talking about here in a minute. Now, I wanted to mention, if you guys ever have suggestions for future videos, please let me know. I'm always looking for raids and dungeons to break out of. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting things that I've already done, so I'm sorry. Maybe I'll return there in the future, uh, but I'm looking to make new newer videos every week and release them just so you guys have something to look forward to. We are officially over 4,100 subscribers. That is incredible to me. We're almost to 5,000. That's crazy. Like, I never thought in my life I'd ever had 5,000 subscribers on a YouTube channel. So you guys are the best. Um, yeah. So here's the back of the volcano. As you can see, it is pretty cool. I kind of wish they would have kept the whole volcano, you know, back here. But what's interesting on this map to me is that you're on the Isle of Kassan, but you're not, you're, I guess you're on the opposite side. So if you have the island here, I guess technically we're on this side over here or this side. And then the starting goblin zone is over here. So I don't know exactly where we're at on Kazan, which I'm assuming in lore, the island is huge. So I don't know how big the island actually is, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's a big island. And so technically we're just on the opposite side. Um, I don't really know the mother loads lore history. So maybe someone can explain it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it and I'll probably do some research on it as well. I do love the goblin starting zone music. It's one of my favorite. Some good OOB music back here. So that's cool. Alright, as you guys can tell, we are not officially on the map because we are way up here running along the volcano here. So let's go see what's going on up here. And let's go take a look. Oh, we did find the edge of the world again. And we do got to be careful because we don't want to clip back into bounds. But let's go take a look on the backside over here. As I said, this isn't a very big OOB. And we do got to be careful avoiding the walls over there. We don't want to get stuck. A lot of times what happens is with these OOBs, once you get outside and you hit like the boundary barrier, it's like an invisible wall back here. You will actually get stuck in the invisible wall and it's horrible. Like getting out of them is almost impossible. But a lot of times you can get out with like fell strike or metamorphosis. But the problem is your guy will just uh, glitch in midair. And you'll have like this slow falling animation and you'll just fall infinitely until you get out of it. It's horrible. So just be careful when you're doing OOB stuff to not get in the invisible walls because you might get stuck. 
And also rule of thumb I mentioned in the sky reach video, be careful going into water. Uh, make sure to have the inflatable mount shoes on your mount to walk across water. That is like huge. I think I'm actually going to make like a survival kit uh, OOB training video where I can show you all the best stuff to use for OOB. I know somebody has already requested that. And so I'm definitely going to be making like how to do OOB and what's like the best possible way to get out. I'll probably feature, um, definitely going to use hero on that one as he is like the OOB expert. Now this is interesting. We do got a campsite on the back of the volcano here. That is new. I didn't even know that was back here. Is this part of the map originally? I don't think so, right? Now, I haven't done this dungeon in a long time, so I don't know what's what. But that's cool to see that Blizzard has just kind of put some random stuff back here. I don't know if this is an Easter egg. Are those supposed to be graves, I'm assuming? There's an arrow pointing down. Huh. Interesting. Didn't see that before. That's something new. See? you're always. I'm always discovering something new on these OOBs. Uh, taken with you guys here on this amazing OOB journey. Well, let's keep going this way and let's go see if we can take a look on this side. We do got to be careful as we don't want to clip back into bounds here. Now there isn't too much else down there. As you can see, it's just another half of the island there. Now that is actually where we started is over there on the shore. So we are currently on the backside of the dungeon here. So that's about it for the island. Uh, feel free to go run around and get back here as it's very easy to do. Now, the, all the part you guys have been waiting for, there is a secret spot. Well, not really secret. We did walk past it earlier. I told you guys earlier in the video that uh, there was a building in the back when we were running around. And I'm going to go back there. And there's something very very strange that happens on this map i don't know why i don't know why blizzard put it in here i don't understand the gist of it so maybe someone who's a game developer can kind of explain why the reasoning behind this decision but i will show you guys something very strange that's about to happen so as we head this way you will see here in just a minute what I am talking about. So you're going to want to come back on this side of the map. And we're going to go find that building that we had found originally. Now, this building right here, <laughs> there's something very odd about this building. And I'm going to show you here right now. So if you walk into this building, notice my screen here. And chat, the general chat, the feed, is just about to change. Take a look. <laughs> we are now in Spires of Iraq in Draenor. If you die here, you will go to Draenor. Why this is here and why this is Spires of Iraq, I have no clue, no idea. If anybody knows why Blizzard had made this part of the map, Spires of Iraq, I would be very curious to know. So, and I will prove to you right now, if we die right here, we're going to teleport to Draenor. So, watch this. So we're going to make a campfire. We're going to drink our Pinch Whistle Nitro Fuel. And we're going to die and respawn. Now, watch what happens when we die and respawn. Here we go. <laughs> we are in Draenor. Why this is in here, I have no clue. No clue at all. And this is total proof. If you die in the mother load on the back side, you will spawn in Draenor in the Spires of Iraq. So there you go. If you want a teleportation or an easy way to teleport to Draenor, that is your way out right there. <laughs> it is the weirdest thing. I don't understand. Now, unfortunately, if you do this, you do have to get back to the spirit healer because there's no possible way to actually get back to the dungeon. So there you go. That is a easy teleportation to Draenor. So 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. A special thanks to Maiden. Thank you, Maiden, so much for this video. It was a lot of fun breaking out of the mother load. I have no idea why Blizzard has put this in the game. It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe you know. Maybe there was some experimenting between Draenor and Battle for Azeroth that was going on. Why they chose Spire of Iraq and why that changes. I have no idea. My only guess is that maybe the Motherlode map is actually located off the shore here somewhere outside in Draenor. Why that would be, I don't know. I'm very confused. So let me know below if, what you guys think. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make. Thank you again to Maiden. Everybody have a good night. As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.